Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. We are going to take a look at the energies for your next 7 days, so let's find out together what's coming towards you. The Sun, the Five of Swords, clarified by the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Guys, some of you will have the opportunity to turn on the light on a connection with a person of interest that can be a tricky individual because of the Five of Swords energy, which is an ego-driven one for me. It's like dealing with someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter. It can even be a know-it-all. And the Eight of Swords that we got, especially in this version, is not in favor of that type of mindset because it can describe a situation that can see some of you always in the position to ask your person of interest for explanations and adjustments and this person is not responsive you know they are stuck in a mindset that can be one that is extremely difficult to handle and so guys you have been patient when it comes to this connection we got the three of wands what's interesting when it comes to this combination of energies is the fact that we know that the three of wands is an energy related to the sun because there is a standby in order to allow the sun to rise up in the sky this is the chance to bring clarity to a situation that can be full of shenanigans the clouded sky that we see in the five of swords guys i want to investigate the five of swords energy because time is ticking clock or a quick card and some of you will have to make a healthy choice about this situation because if you are thinking to build for the future golden palace there is no harmony in this connection so there cannot be joy and delight and we need to make a fair decision about it to be fair or a quick card which is a justice type of energy so let's see the five of swords the man in green and red for me is the bearer of the three of swords energy so potential heartbreaker here we go for once this is about a vision, Golden Palace. Three of Swords, called for it. The bearer of the energy and the Page of Pentacles, an apology. You can receive it. Some of you are dealing with someone that can have a tendency to apologize, but they do not really mean it. You know, their apologies can fly away, kind of following the wind. So at some point, the roles are going to reverse because you will become the one not responsive simply because you can decide to turn your back on this person there can be competition guys involved for whatever reason related to the five of swords the three of swords combination of energies but at the same time the opportunity to turn your back on this person can be justified by a realization a moment of clarity following the sun about the fact that your inner happiness cannot be amplified by this connection. This connection is not a plus in your life. If you want to manifest the four of one's vision into reality, this person may not be a fair companion for you. It's time, guys. No progress. No progress coming from this connection. A cycle can be over. It can be the opportunity for you to make a healthy choice in love but also in life so that you can be happier in a different situation this can be a blessing in disguise what is the challenge of the week high priestess eight of pentacles clarified by the five of pentacles and the three of cups guys no contact situation for some of you when it comes to a romantic connection that has gone cold truly ice ice cold i would say high priestess five of pentacles i have to say that your ex can reach out in order to try to offer you the opportunity to rekindle your romantic connection this person can say that they are willing to work for it my question to them is this one why didn't you work for the connection when you got the chance to do it in the first place just saying you can be extremely cautious out of reach the high priestess 
it can be extremely difficult for this person to be successful in this type of endeavor. The Five of Pentacles offers a battlefield with multiple shields broken. For me, agreements. Agreements let down or vows of trust shattered for several reasons, you know. Maybe you have been for a while the warrior that is mending his wounds and your person can be the one that left the battlefield behind. Now, once again, the tables can turn because the one that can be disappointed by the outcome related to this interaction can be your ex because they are not going to get the opportunity to rekindle your connection like nothing happened in the past. I also have to say that if we follow the Golden Palace Oracle card, some of you maybe were married to this person. To be fair, can be an answer about a justice process, maybe a difficult one. This person wants to turn back time, guys. I want to see the Five of Pentacles. Let me see, because it can be even an energy that is not in favor of a productive communication. Here we go. Two of Wands, Crossroads, Soulful Decision, there is the word. So a cycle was over. Big time, I would say. So this person wants to bring back to life a connection that was dead over, allow me to say. Three of Cups again, Queen of Wands. This can be an energy about a healthy self-confidence if it is about you. Well, even the other person can have a meaningful level of self-confidence. They can try to seduce you, guys. At the same time, if we link together the Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands, this can be another person. So maybe a love triangle was at the core of the decision to part ways between you and your ex. Chances are, because of the high priestess, so the ability to pay attention to every detail, you are going to remember what happened in the past, and that's why you can basically figure out that this person, despite their words, cannot be trusted, because chances are, it can be more than an option for the connection to face the same old challenges. So, no harmony. There can be a resolution, like a New Year's resolution, in order to move forward and leave the situation behind for good. This can be an opportunity for you to find joy and delight in other scenarios. Fairness, respect, an equal give and take. This is the mindset that some of you are looking for when it comes to a potential fair companion. This person had their chance, they blew it. There is no going back. We cannot turn back time. It can still be for the better for those of you that can resonate. What is the surprise of the week? Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands. So for those of you single, there can be, yes, a surprising offer coming your way. Ace of Wands, it can be straightforward, guys. It can be an offer full of compliments but also an offer that can throw at you hints about the opportunity to have some good time with a potential new person of interest. What's the point? The point is that you can be in a Four of Pentacles mode, you know, better safe than sorry. This can be justified because of previous experiences, because for me the man is keeping the ace extremely close to his chest because he can struggle to open up because he doesn't want to get hurt. But at some point, this energy must change somehow, some way, because we have to open up in order to allow new opportunities to come in. The Nine of Pentacles lady is looking for a fair companion, so you can be highly sought after. You will have to figure out and decide if this person, the one that can bring forward the Ace of Wands, is someone that you like, someone that you trust, someone that you respect, and also someone that can be deserving of your time, loving energies, and effort. So you will have to fulfill an evaluation to be fair oracle card. I want to see, guys, the Ace of Wands, because it can be a spark of passion, desire, and attraction. Let's see 
if there is a something more. Chariot, a successful progression, and the strength card, a matter of trust. Guys, there is uh, the chance to interact with someone that can be genuinely interested in you, someone that can be willing to give some time to your connection, the strength card, energy about patience and trust through colors. The lady can tame the beast because she can establish a bond built on trust by displaying her true colors. This is lovely, I have to say that. So this can be an unexpected opportunity for some of you. You may ask this person to give you some time. This is fair if you ask me, but this is also the opportunity to lay down all the cards. Look at this beautiful two of ones version of the card. The other person is going to respect your decision, but they can truly hope that you are going to accept to give this connection a real chance. Joy and delight, it is auspicious, golden palace. Chance to look, to build solid foundations. Look at the foundations of the palace. The strength card is a core energy when it comes to today's situation, guys. If you are the nine of pentacles lady or the nine of pentacles prince, evaluate carefully the opportunity that can catch you off guard because it can be deserving of your attention and it can also be the chance for you to release an old cycle four of pentacles described in order to embrace a positive progression not only in the romantic arena but also overall in your life because there can be success and the chariot is guided by the star, so there is a wish at play. Long time coming, maybe, for some of you. The other person can display true colors, and you will have the chance to see them and decide. Soulful decision, guys, the two of ones, extremely important. That's why I usually say that it can set the tone for what comes next in the journey. Success can knock at your door. You will have to decide if you want to open not only the door but also your heart to joy and fulfillment guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful somehow some way if you want to comment like and subscribe it will help our channel to grow so thank you and until next time i wish you all the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye